Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So in this video, we are going to see about the recruitment of trainees for Bharat Dynamics Limited or BDL. Okay, so they are recruiting two categories of trainees that is graduate and diploma trainees. Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about the selection process, the qualification details, the application procedure, age details, salary details, everything for BDL trainees. Okay. There is uh, two categories of trainees they are recruiting that is graduate and diploma apprentice trainee okay so this is an apprentice trainee recruitment and only if you have passed out in either 2017 2018 2019 or 2020 only then you are eligible that is from 2017 onwards if you have uh, passed out that is your pass out year is from 2017 to 2020 only then you are eligible okay and the duration for the training is one year okay now there is two categories of trainees apprentice trainees they are recruiting that is for graduation and for diploma the qualification is for uh, graduate trainees you should be having an engineering degree and for diploma trainees you should be having diploma as a qualification now let us see about the branch details and the various that is the respective vacancy details for the branches okay First one is mechanical branch for graduate apprentice there is 35 vacancies and for diploma apprentice for the mechanical branch there is 14 vacancies. For triple branch for graduate apprentice there is 8 vacancy and for diploma apprentice there is 4 vacancy. For civil branch for the graduate apprentice there is 2 vacancies and there is no opening for diploma apprentice for the civil branch. Next is CSE bar IT that is computer science engineering slash IT for graduate apprentice there is 10 openings for diploma apprentice there is 6 openings then ECE electronics and communication engineering for graduate apprentice there is 25 openings and for diploma apprentice there is 8 openings next is chemical branch for graduate apprentice there is 2 opening and for diploma apprentice there is 4 openings last one is electronics and instrumentation there is specific ei branch being recruited and for graduate apprentice there is one vacancy and there is no opening for diploma apprentice okay so totally 83 vacancies is there for graduate apprentice and for diploma apprentice there is 36 vacancy so totally the apprenticeship uh, vacancies is uh, that is taking the sum total of graduate and di diploma apprentice there is 119 openings okay so that is the various branch wise opening details now the stipend you will be provided stipend for the one year duration so this uh, apprenticeship training is for one year duration okay the stipend given for graduate apprentice is 9000 rupees per month for diploma apprentice is 8000 rupees per month okay so this is the stipend details now moving on to the uh, age details, I have already explained the qualification details. The qualification you should be having is B or B Tech for applying for the graduate apprentice and for diploma apprentice you require diploma. Age details as per the apprenticeship rule that is uh, you have to actually log in to the human resource development site of government of India and you have to apply there and as per the apprenticeship rules your age limit should be followed okay and also there is a specific thing they have given in the notification that if you have done apprenticeship earlier you are not eligible to apply okay if you have already done some apprenticeship uh, under the government of india undertakings you are not eligible to apply now the selection process there is no exam and also uh, there is no fees also okay the selection process will be happening through only certificate verification so once you uh, apply to this post based on their qualification based on your cutoff marks or your academic performance they will be shortlisting and only the certificate verification will be there there is no exam or interview or anything okay so next let us see about the application or the registering procedure so first you have to register yourself to www.mhrdnatch.gov.in so this is the human resource development site and there is an apprenticeship, national apprenticeship portal there. You have to enroll yourself 
uh, in that side and you have to get your enrollment specific enrollment number okay and then you have to log in if you have already registered then you just have to log in you don't have to register once again if you have your enrollment number then you have to just log in and then you have to choose the establishment request menu establishment means whichever organization is conducting the apprenticeship uh, opening or recruitment that you have to choose and then you have to upload your resume and then you have to click apply okay so first you have to choose the establishment request menu then you have to upload resume in that you can see the bdl there is here we are discussing about the bharat dynamics limited its apprenticeship so you have to uh, select that specific organization name and then you have to click apply okay so this is the simple procedure anyway i'll be uh, sharing an image of this application procedure towards the end of this video also okay so you can refer it over there also and the last date for applying is 18th of november okay so you can apply only till 18th of november you can apply through only this portal okay so uh, the link for application the notification details everything you can find in description also and also towards the end of this video some images will be included regarding the most important parts of this notification and also i'll be putting this application procedure image also okay so you can find it over there also okay so i'm really hoping that you found this video useful so if you are interested in doing apprenticeship this is the greatest opening if you are uh, a fresher also they are not asking any experience so that is an advantage so if you are interested in doing graduate apprentice or diploma apprenticeship it is the greatest opening please do apply for it as soon as possible if you found the video useful please do give it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel Thanks for watching and keep on watching.